tempting to tuck too far under and roll your hips too far under, and that actually doesn't allow your abs to contract as much as we would like. So I want you to untuck just a little bit, great. That's a neutral spine position. She can draw her abs up effectively from there. Another issue that we tend to see is if you dip too far down, and then you're ending up using your back and your shoulders more than your abs. You wanna draw yourself up so you're in a straight line. Alternatively, you wanna avoid going too high up. So this really just kicks on your shoulders, keeps it out of your abs, maybe a little bit out of your glutes. You wanna just find that neutral spine and come back to a straight line, shoulders to hips. I'm Kristen. You, you wanna keep yourself in a straight line so you're not sagging and you're not arching up. Squeeze in your butt muscles to hold yourself in a neutral position. And relax. A static exercise, which focuses the load on the abdominals and back extensors. Target muscles, core muscles. Co-contraction of back extenders, abdominal muscles, pelvic floor, and diaphragm. Raise one leg pushing it straight backwards and simultaneously lift the opposite arm and point it in front of you. Arm and back form a line parallel to the floor. Hold for about 8 to 10 seconds. Top view presenting the spinal erectors, transversus abdominis and pelvic floor muscles in co-contraction. When you co-contract, you wake these muscles up and they work together to create a well-supported core. Keep neutral spine and abdominal bracing throughout the entire exercise. Between your knees and your shoulders. Hold this for three to five seconds, then relax by returning your pelvis to the ground. Tighten your core and repeat. Complete three sets of 10 to 12 repetitions. It's important to maintain correct posture and not let either of the hips dip down or rotate from side to side. If you are only able to do this for two seconds, that's fine. Good posture is important. If you are looking for something more challenging, you may cross your arms across your chest and complete this exercise. Again, maintain that straight line from the knees to the shoulders. Tighten your core before each repetition and again completing three sets of 10 to 12 repetitions. If you need a less challenging exercise, you may extend the arms straight out to the sides and complete this exercise. This will provide more support and stability side to side and allow you to complete this exercise with a little less demand. Remember to keep the core tight for each repetition and take a moment to relax in between. And you're gonna raise both your arms and your legs up off the ground. Hold that for just a second or two and then come back down to the starting position and then repeat that same movement. This is gonna be great for strengthening your lower back your upper back as well as your glutes. 